Hi everyone, so today's a really exciting day. Um, my brother and I are going to Wales, we're going to Snowdonia. I'm so excited, we've had this trip planned since February and of course I'm taking you with us. After quite a long journey, we have arrived in Betsy Coed. I think that's how you say it. I really hope that's how you say it. Um, but yeah, we're just going to find our hotel now and I'll keep you updated. We've dropped most of our stuff at the hotel. Um, I didn't show you around, but I'll show you afterwards. It's not that much, to be honest. I never got around to showing you the actual hotel. So we stayed in a hotel slash bunkhouse. We stayed in the bunkhouse part of it. So the room wasn't that big at all. It's literally, this. what you can see in this image is what it was. And I've got these photos from Google. And then there was a corridor uh, where, like a corridor with other rooms as well. And then there was a common, well, there was two common bathrooms and like shower rooms. But I'm here with PT and we're in this like sort of park that we found close to where we're staying and we've just got our meal deals and we're just gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna go see some waterfalls. So we're on our way to the waterfalls now with like sort of the first like half of the walk was we went along the road but then PT saw an opportunity for us to go down so we, we went down those stairs and we're walking. It's more of like a, not a hike, I don't know what to call it, like a, a walk in nature I suppose, <laughs> as opposed to on the road. Um, but yeah, we're now at this like we're getting close to a bridge. I think it's called the Miners Bridge. A couple of years ago, the Miners Bridge was actually swept away by a really bad storm. Um, and I think this was in like 2020 and it's been replaced with this one. It's called the Miners Bridge because apparently the local lead miners used to use it. And um, we did actually see quite a lot of caution signs for the old mines. We're almost at the waterfalls, I think, I hope. Um, we're definitely getting closer. We can hear them and sort of see like the end bit, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but. We have seen other people walking around here and we did ask um, someone if this is the right way to the waterfalls and they said yes, so. <laughs> We found it, We've, we're just going down these like stairs, I guess you could call them. It's beautiful, beautiful. We were both saying that tomorrow we're going to be so dead, like tomorrow we're like hiking up Mount Snowdon, so <laughs> we're going to be dead for that. But. So we've got a bit of a view of the um, waterfalls and PT just pointed out that there's a little, I don't think you can see on camera, but there's some stairs that go down. So we might try and go across there and down to get closer. We're now going to pass over the waterfall. So the waterfall's over there and we've just come a bit further up and we're just gonna cross over here because the road's over there and it's just gonna be so much easier to get where we want to get. So yeah, I'm just gonna follow PT, um, who's kind of my guide and I'm 
wasting time sitting behind, so I better get a move before I forget what he's done. I am actually gonna regret this. To Kim Dyer. So we're at the waterfall, we've made it to like the closest you can get. Um, you do have to pay a two pound entry fee, um, but I think it's worth it, like for two pounds. Like. So what we did was we basically climbed over the back, like the clips you saw before were on the other side of the waterfall where we went through and then we climbed up a, like a, a wall to get on off of like a field onto a uh, onto the road. Another lazy afternoon. We're climbing Mount Snowden. We've taken the path from Lambellis. I would like to correct myself here. It's definitely not pronounced Lambellis. It's Thanberis, I think. Um, yeah, I hope I got it right this time. <laughs> We've only just started, but if you can't tell, I'm already out of breath. This could be the end of me. <laughs> We're going strong. Don't know how far into it we are. PT reckons we're about a quarter of the way there. I've managed to get pooed on by a bird. Um, I'm just glad that I was wearing my hood. So when you're coming up, you've also got the option of getting the train. Those are the tracks over there. It only takes you to about two thirds of the way. So you come from down there and you sort of come here. Also, we are literally in the clouds. Can you see that? My hair's so dark now. I had no idea that this is a thing. Um, there's sort of like coins in this like tree stump. I had no idea that we could do this. We're on our way up. We've had a little bit of a break um, just to re-energise and yeah. I think you can see we're sort of in the clouds now. Just be yeah. We've made it to the first summit. Apparently there's a second one as well so we'll keep going. I feel like I have some explaining to do here because I do realise I sound a bit silly. So basically we reached this point that was really close to the top that had like a big like rock stone thing in the ground that said summit and what I was saying to the camera was based off of a conversation I heard some other people have um, then they were talking about a second summit and so we decided to go find this second summit but that that thing that we saw wasn't the summit. It wasn't a summit at all. It was a sign that was pointing towards the summit. And I only noticed on the way back when the, the rock on the other side, it didn't say summit in the name. It said the name of the village that we had started from. My hands are freezing now that we stopped to take some photos. Um, so I'm gonna start filming and put my hands back in my pockets. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm getting a bit hungry. But I can last a bit longer. You can't even see me. Look how cloudy it is. Go, PT. Um, 
We've made a head on my ring It's my favorite chiffon dress I don't care today what the neighbors might say Cause I can stay inside and Type away inside Oh, make a today Just a little less mundane Oh, inside and It's five o'clock now Um, we're almost down uh, not too long now I don't think probably like half an hour to go um, yeah I don't know if I told you when we started we started at around midday it was just after 12 so it's taken us around five hours to go up take photos um, and So it's our last day slash the day we're leaving. We're gonna check out at 11. It's currently, I don't know, like 10. Um, we're just getting our stuff together. We've checked out of our hotel and we are now just chilling here. It's, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say. Kind of wanted to do some bits and pieces today, um, but we've sort of got all of our stuff, so not going to be another hike day. We're going to have some lunch. I'm going to get lunch and sit um, at the rocks later on or sit around here where I'm sitting now. PT's gone off exploring while I'm looking after our stuff for a bit. I went for a little bit of a wander before, he did the same. There is also like a railway museum around here that I'd like to see. I think it's actually at the train station. So maybe we'll just go a little bit earlier and just wander around and see what that's like, because that would be really cool. I would 110% recommend visiting the railway museum. It's really easy to get to. It's at the train station, um, you go onto the platform one and then it's, you get the stairs up and then the stairs down onto the other side of the platform and um, yeah, that's how you get there. <laughs> um, it's free entry and there's so much in there. It's a small museum but there's a lot in there somehow. There's a lot of history packed into it and there's also loads of like, um, like model villages with like like trains and stuff and um, yeah what you've seen in the videos basically and there was also a couple of interactive ones as well we are back um, it's the next day Thank you all so much for coming along this trip with us. I absolutely loved it and I hope you enjoyed watching. Remember, if you would like to watch another video, um, I've got one here for you. And if you're new, why not subscribe?